Here we are. Vicolo Cerves Merite. How about that, George? You've fallen for a girl who lives in the very heart of the most romantic city in the world. Uh huh. Shame she never told you. Y there's a cruel streak in you, Nico, that I never saw before. One two eight Vicolo Serve Smerite. This is it. The address on the credit card receipt. Anna Maria lives in this building, and so do some answers. Can I help at all? No, I'm fine. Just trying to get inside. Well, here's a little hint. Keys. Oh yeah. <laughs> what kind of idiot am I, huh? I wonder, what kind are you? Excuse me. Hello there. I'm George Stobart. Two B's, two T's. The name's Mark. Brother Mark. Apartment 07. Licensed to sweep, huh? Oh, <laughs> very good. Yes, that's me to a T. Something of a movie fan, are you? Nothing I like more than watching an action hero in action. Yep, those guys perform miracles, don't they? Miracles? Oh, well, you know. So, what can I do for you? So, what do you do, Mark? I'm a priest. At least, I'm going to be. I'm a trainee. A novice. I thought you looked too young to be a priest. <laughs> well, thanks. You don't look so bad yourself. What a nice guy. Really friendly. So what made you want to become a priest? That's a personal question, George. And I hardly know you. Secretive, huh? Sensible. Next thing I know, you might be trying to steal the secrets of the church. So the church has secrets, huh? Don't be ridiculous. I wonder if you can help us. We're looking for an apartment. 128 Vicolo Serve Smerite, number 8. Well, isn't that a coincidence? It's right there, and I'm next door to number 8 myself. Indeed, I know the lady who owns it. Do you mind me asking what your business with her might be? Oh, uh, we're renting the place from her. All the hotels are booked up. I see. Of course, with Il Papa's ecumenical service only days away, that's hardly surprising, is it? Yep, that old ecumenical service sure is as popular as ever. And yet, this is his first. We knew that. We knew that. That's why we're here. Il Papa's first. Go, Papa. Hmm. Well, enjoy your stay. And don't you worry. I'll be keeping a sharp eye out on you. So, tell me, your neighbor, Anna Maria, you know her quite well, do you? Oh, yes. Very pleasant girl. Not that I see much of her. How do you mean? She's never home for long. Bit of a jet-setter, if you ask me. Any idea what she does? I might and I might not. And if I did, I'm not sure I'd tell all and sundry. Oh. So, you're into conspiracy theories, huh? Big Brother is always watching. As they used to say at the monastery. No, I don't recall anyone ever saying that. What I mean is, people are often not who they say they are. Take that tramp, for instance. Well, he sure smells the part. Smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. Hmm. A priest with trust issues. Interesting. The main door to the apartment block is locked. I, I don't suppose you have a key, do you? I do, but I don't lend it out. Maybe you have a spare? I do, but I'm not going to tell you where it is. What do you think of this, huh? Very clever. I invented it. It's telescopic. Clearly. I see you're a fan of the bimatrix shaft. Hey, now you're talking my language. Hmm. Just be careful around that car, please. You sure love your car, huh? What a shine. Oh, no. 
It's the car. From my favorite action film of all time, In Cold Blood, starring Lucy Chu. Wow. Yes, wow. It was driven by Lucy Chu in a scene which was kept back for the special DVD. It must mean a lot to you. If anything happened to it, I think I'd die. Or worse. Excuse me. No, 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 excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm George Stobart. Well, somebody has to be. And you are? The Right Honourable, the Viscount Lonsdale. But you can call me Lord Lonsdale. Or my lord. Or just Lonsdale. Or Archie. Whatever pulls your goat. Hey, what? If I'm not mistaken, you're British. Very astute of you, young Gary. Quite the bright spark for a yank. Well, I did excel in most of my classes. Except cookery. Well done. Excellent. Of course, I never went to school. No need. Lonsdale's got all they need up top at birth. So, why are you in Rome, Archie? This is a long story, Gregory. It's George. Certain. Anyhow, a few years back, I was doing my party trick on the streets of Paris. Uncle Archie, the juggling clown. Lovable, lovely, lovely Archie. Then, one day... What happened? Oh, Jimmy Two Feet, that's what happened. Caught me with the proverbials down and... Uh, and? Black Melbourne. Then he, then he blackballed me. Never got over it. Destroyed my very soul, don't you know? So, are you a real Viscount? Oh, 148th in line to the throne of England, I think. Royalty, no less. I'm honored. So you should be, Giles Meowbaka. What do you make of Brother Mark? Brother loony, more like, thinks I'm some sort of special forces soldier. I mean, me? Me? I can't see it myself. Exactly. I'm clearly off the material. So there's no love lost between you two? Oh, I like to wind him up, don't you know? Gets all flustered and flaps his gloves. So what exactly do you do? Old trick I picked up at Sandhurst. Attack the core to break the man. Or, or is it the other way around? Brother Mark says there's a spare key for that block of flats. I don't suppose you know where it's hidden. Oh, yes, the key. Yes, I, I know where the key is, all right. Well? Well, what? Where's the key? The key? Well, where it always is, you fool. Under the plant pot to the left of the doorway. But you won't get it. He's damned cunning, that priest. We'll see. What do you know about Mark's car? Gets more attention than I've had hot women. Or is that dinners? If anything happens to it, the poor chap falls apart, comes to pieces. Tiny, tiny pieces. Hey, Archie. You seem a little distracted. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah. You seem to like my friend over there. Oh, what a girl. Face of an angel and the body of a Valkyrie warrior maiden. Lucky it's not the other way around, huh? Reminds me of my good lady wife. Oh, did something bad happen? Monte Cassino happened, old boy. Winter of 43. Me and General Lease up against Castle Ring. Two against one? Good odds. I was the outsider. Caught a blighty one. <laughs> Never made it home. Hey, that's tough. Getting wounded. Wounded? Don't be silly, no? I got, I got drunk. I, I ran off with a nurse and opened the bar in Palermo. You are all heart, Archie. 
Uh, all heart, no liver to be precise. A green and unpleasant chunk of moldy bread. I say, Jimmy, I, I, I may be drunk, but I can still see you in a blurry sort of way. Now, leave my bread alone. But it looks so tempting. Stealing from a tramp. Have you no shame? Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? The tramp over there believes he's a Viscount. Oh, yes? He's had one bottle too many. I think he passed that stage around 40 years ago. You know, Archie appears to have taken a bit of a shine to you. You distract him while I try and steal his bread. So it's come to this, hein, George? That's the spirit. I say, that's too far. Even for Uncle Archie. Huh? Oh, can't a girl have a bit of fun anymore? That's too bad. I've told you once. Sorry, force of habit. Hey, get your hands off my shrubs. I didn't touch your shrubs. Well, anyone could see you want to. I've got to find a way to distract this guy. Hi, Mark. Uh, can you spare a minute? For you, George. Anytime. So what's the deal with Archie over there? Hmm. Lecherous old miser. Of course, that could be just a cover. For what? He could be working for MI5 or 6. Or the agency. The world's full of spies, you know. You think so? Open your eyes to the interweb, my friend, and find out what's really happening in the world. Aha! Well, maybe I'm a spy. I hardly think so. But look at Archie, a panther, poised for action. He's got the 3,000 yard stare. I think that's the 3,000 proof stare. Never trust a man who only washes once a year. So what other movies do you like? Oh, Fly Hard, Bad Lads, The Bald Complacency. But there's still not a patch on In Cold Blood. So why become a priest? I abhor violence. Of course. What's so special about In Cold Blood? Oh, it's a high-octane ride into an awesome world of kitsch. Sounds amazing. It is, and possibly one of the most accurate depictions of undercover work ever. I can't believe a man of the cloth has a thing for an actress like Lucy Chu. She's strong, George. A woman to aspire to. Uh-huh. She knows her own mind and takes no nonsense from men. Respect. There's God, and then there's Lucy Chu. But wasn't she in that dodgy French movie, The Housemaid's Knee? And didn't she... Despise the sin, George, not the sinner. Mark, I've got a little something I know you're gonna like. Why, George, aren't you the dark horse? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, anyway. I have here a photograph of Lucy Chu. Oh, George, it's heavenly. I'm aching with jealousy. Oh, quickly, Lord, forgive me. I wouldn't bank on it, Mark. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? 
Brother Mark's really friendly, isn't he? Only to you, Georges. I think you have a new friend. Well, I guess I'm just a lovable kind of guy. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't go that far. Last time I take you on a surprise vacation. Would you try and charm Mark to see if you can get us into the apartment? How do you mean? You know, use your feminine wiles to get the key to the apartment block. You really think it's going to work on him? Duh, he's a guy, isn't he? Well done, Nico. The bread is now mine. It's a cheap trick, but it ought to work. No! My Lucy! My little Lucy! Go on! Shoo! Get away! That'll keep him busy. Here it is. Damn it, it's locked. Nico, I'm going outside to try and find another way into the apartment. You wait here and watch the corridor for anyone coming. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Have we got a problem here? You want to try asking instead of telling for a change, George. Hey, you're right. I'm sorry. What would you like to do, Nico? How about I wait here and watch the corridor? Well, that's a good idea. Let's do that. I had to pick the ledge with the broken section. I just can't see into her flat from here. I should try another way.
Damn, all that work and the door's locked. There must be a way in. It's the kitchen window into Anna Maria's apartment. The window's slightly ajar. I'm sure I can get my arm through. The bolt for the kitchen door is up, locking it. No wonder the door wouldn't open. Anna Maria's obviously worried someone could get in this way. She's right. Uh, uh, no use. My arms just can't reach that far. No way am I doing that. Aha! Stobart Industries is on to another winner. Ta-da! Well done, Georges. Now let's find out who this girl really is. I don't believe it. It's a picture of Anna Maria, dressed as a nun. Cute nun. Uh, very cute. So what's the deal? This nun is Anna Maria. No way. Yes way, very way, in a big way. Whoa, you've been dating a nun, Georges. A nun! Well, she wasn't wearing all that gear when I met her. In some countries they execute you for that, Georges. Well, maybe she's not a real nun. Maybe she's at a costume party. Yeah, and those goons who attacked you in New York with the Seven Dwarves. Okay, you've had your fun. Now this is serious. Sorry, Georges, you're right. What's that she's standing in front of? I think it says... Memento Mori? It looks like it could be part of the Vatican walls. Terrific. They go for miles. Yep, they do. We should maybe look for something else to narrow it down. I'll take this. You never know when it might come in handy. Too bad I left my nun outfit back in Istanbul. Might have been useful. Eh, it didn't really suit you. Guess you're the expert. Oh, funny. Very funny. One metro ticket and some pocket lint. Where's the ticket for? Kipro Musee Vaticani Station. Uh, that's somewhere near the Vatican walls, I think. Perhaps that's close to where the photo of Anna Maria was taken. Airline ticket stub. Where from? Phoenix, Arizona. And just a few weeks ago. What was she doing at Phoenix? Nun convention? Oh, very funny. I've got enough information to work with now. Nico, I'm going to follow up this nun lead. Sure. I'll stay here and look through these books. Well, you don't want to come with me? No, thanks. I'll wait here until you get back. Aha! So you managed to get in, then? Yes, thank you. Through the door, I see. Yep. With a key? Uh-huh. Oh, the key! <laughs> you know what? I had it in my pocket all along. I see you've made yourself at home, too. Well, when in Rome... When in Rome? When in Rome... make yourself at home. Hmm. I don't suppose you know when Anna Maria will be back. I have a package for her. Ah, uh, she could be gone for some time. You'd better give it to me. No. 
I don't think so. I'll keep it for now. Wouldn't like it to fall into the wrong hands. Good day now. Uh, yeah. Have a nice one. Where should I go? I think I'll go to the Vatican. <laughs> 